Thermodynamics in dentistry is like thermodynamics anywhere. This introduction of extreme hot or extreme cold will cause certain structures to either expand or constrict. In dentistry, that's important because in the middle of the structure that we're always talking about is a nerve. It's a big nerve. And it's a nerve that has the capacity to feel pain quite acutely. There is no pain like dental pain. Without anesthesia, dentistry could not be done. Without proper anesthesia. This is a very important factor as far as creating a material that has an ability to prevent excessive thermal changes in the material. Sometimes we are so deep into the tooth with a decay or a cavity, we don't have enough protection of the tooth to create a normal environment for that nerve. So we have to place either a material between the restoration, which can be a base or an insulator or a protective plastic that will act like a natural tooth surface. That's known as an obtundent. It'd be like growing tooth surface inside of a tooth. Well, we don't think that ever happens, but we have to put in a material that's so biocompatible that it will act like the surface it's replacing, creating the normal thermodynamic. When we approach the nerve, we know this is going to be a problem with a tooth, particularly if it's a front tooth, where everything you put into your mouth hits that front tooth, whether it's ice cream or whether it's a hot piece of cheese pizza. It's going to carry that sensitivity more rapidly through an artificial surface than your natural surface. We have to consider that it's part of the restorative criteria to make this tooth normal, especially if it's a vital tooth. Now, sometimes these teeth can respond so abnormally when we put an artificial surface on them, such as hyperemic, meaning overreact, overreact to normal stimulus, cold water. Instead of an ice cream, just cold water. Go back to tepid water, just out of a faucet. Some teeth will respond to that extraordinarily when placed in an area that doesn't have the correct thermal dynamic insulation. Sometimes we have to remove the nerve just so they can function and use it. It just depends on the way their own nerve would fire. It might go against what we would think would be abnormally sensitive or hyperemic, but we have to treat what the symptoms are. We're always asking for symptoms. We're always treating the symptoms because that's our goal, to get it back to normal functional pattern.